back, y'all. Our next guests are a group of incredible musicians, most of whom first came together for a one-time gig in April 2019. It was for an event to mark Autism Acceptance Month. Now, five years later, they are a full-on rock band with a successful EP out called Fireflies and another album on the way that we're going to talk about. Four of the five members are on the autism spectrum, and the group is the subject of a new documentary called ASD Band, the movie. So everybody, please, let's welcome the members of ASD Band, Maury, Ron, Jackson, Spencer, and Rawan. Give it up. <laughs> that was your song. That the, band, was, the band is That playing. was amazing. Those yeah. guys pulled that off so well. Yeah. They just know, learned right? that just now? They literally just learned it because they were like, we're going to play their yeah. songs. Like, we, like yeah. it wasn't planned. Wow. They were just like. No, I'm telling you, they, well, that's kind of our show. We learn songs <laughs> every day on the fly. But Rowan, how did you become a member of the band? I'll start with you because you're a lead singer, right? Yeah, that's right. All right I love your voice, by the way. Well, we're talking about it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, like, you know, you're my biggest music influence. You're so nice for saying that. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, like, you know, the first song I loved and sang at my third grade talent show was Breakaway. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Anyways, uh, what I wanted to let you guys know is that, you know, we started, and I started, you know, with the song uh, Give a Little Bit, uh, you know, for our, uh, you know, Jake's House campaign. Yeah. Uh, for, and we sang alongside uh, Super Tramp, and it was really a hoot and a half. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I love a hoot and a half. I'm stealing that, just so you know. <laughs> a hoot and a half. That's amazing. Like that. So, what do you each do in the band? She sings, I know. I play the drums. You play the drums. Yeah. I noticed you like Lester over there, killing it on the drums. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. What about you, Jackson? Uh, guitarist and vocalist. Okay, awesome. What about you, Ron? I'm the keyboardist and the pianist in the ASD band. Awesome. Okay, and Maury, what I'm about you? I'm the bass player. Bass player. Yeah. Are you a band leader too? Sort of the oh, coach. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. George Martin. He helps. He helps rah, rah, rah guy. Yeah. yeah, he said the George Martin. Of <laughs> like he's not just a bassist, but also our director, and he helps us, you know, with the great songs and elevate them. Yeah. To our advantage. The, I have one of those too. He's sitting over there. His name is Jason Halbert, and he helps me. <laughs> I, I love working like that. Well, Ramon, you say that being a musician on Spectrum is an advantage, right? Yeah, How I do you see mean? it as an advantage because. It helps me, like, you know, detect and think about where I went wrong, where I went well, and think about where I could elevate certain vocal aspect techniques and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because your range is wired a little differently to where it focuses on stuff like that that maybe other people don't. That's yeah. incredible. What about you, Spencer? So, well, Jackson, what about y'all? For me, uh, it helps because playing drums is kind of like a form of stimming. If you don't know what stimming is, it's basically anything that's, like, stimulation, even just, like, playing with a fidget spinner. Yeah. So just... Being able to play drums really just helps focus my brain. So it's it's just being on stage and just stimming the whole time. I just feel like super happy. And oh, it's almost stim. meditative. Yeah, it's meditative. Oh. It makes word, me feel at peace. The word stim is abbreviated from stimulation. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I feel that too. It is, sometimes I'm most calm on stage, like yeah. singing and in the moment. I, I feel that feel as well. feel at peace, so it's great. Well, Maury, so you, you're neurotypical. So like, what, what have you learned from working with these guys? These guys are open to everything, yeah. which is rare in a musical context. There's no sarcasm here. Everybody says yes when you have an idea. Everybody wants to try it. Everybody says okay. So yeah. it's a very interesting, open kind of creative process. It's been That's a real wonderful. Yeah, it's been a real kind of renewal for me, right? Like we've yeah. never had a disagreement that we didn't settle eventually. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. funny. Says no band ever. ever. <laughs> it's funny because I play in bands. I play in bands with neurotypicals, and I notice the difference with these guys. Yeah. And it's just so much easier to like get along and like come up with ideas. Everyone says yes, yeah, as he was saying. He My other band argues all the time, so alone. it's nice. Because yeah. like, having identical brains to yeah. each other kind so of So everyone helps. just kind of understands almost, each other more. Can almost read, read each other's minds, yeah. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the new album. We were talking about it before in the break. So it's called Almost Flawless. Yes. So what's new with this album? Well, what's new with it is that we have, uh, you know, our first love song, yeah. uh, a few breakup songs, and, you know, the odd songs like positive vibes, good vibes. I've also, the songs I write, they're based off, like, they're like a non-fictional book style. Like, you know, I just write based on experiences yeah. that I've had, you know, good or bad, and then put it into something creative as my it's creative outlet. Yeah, absolutely. It sure is. Yeah. And then do you ever, do the people you write them about ever, are they ever like, uh, is that about me? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'm not going to. <laughs> good, good job. Good job. <laughs> that was incredible. That was incredible. 
incredible. Well, um, uh, that was awesome. <laughs> Good call. So Rewan performing of Fireflies. So what what is this song about? Okay, this song is about like you know overcoming the stigma of autism, yeah. and I don't want to, others to be underestimated because we have many abilities, and so do everyone else uh, on the spectrum. And if you give them a chance then you'll see things with flying colors and yeah. uh, you never know like you know who will be successful in life and yeah. uh, i think that you know we... and a dreamer is a dreamer yeah and yeah, we don't whatever. like go about things halfway yeah yeah so before the break they told us about their single from their first ep and they put together a special tape performance of it for us with fireflies give it up for asd band <laughs> All right, to see the whole story of the band, check out asdband.movie. We're going to be right back with what I'm liking.